Right, so recently it seems like TPU inner tubes have got outrageously popular, so I was like, well, it's obviously the answer. They're lighter than butyl, mega cheap, you can get like three pounds on AliExpress for the ride now ones. So like, why don't you just ride them the whole time? So there's a reason. I, in my opinion, they're the most overrated cycling thing ever. Like, it's just ridiculous. So normally you've got butyl inner tubes. Those are the black inner tubes. They weigh like maybe 120 grams. They're kind of just good for training. Obviously very slow, but it's kind of all right. Then we got like latex in the tube, which is, I've got one here. This is like pink. It's probably like a pretty good upgrade, I reckon, uh, for most people. Um, really low rolling resistance. It's really like um, supple. Uh, again, very good in my opinion. I like them, but they are lighter than later, uh, sorry, later than butyl, maybe 73 grams, people seem to quote, um, which is fine. Like it is lighter, but the main advantage of these is really the rolling resistance is really, really low um, and they feel quite nice. Disadvantage, loud air quickly. Now here's this TPU in the tube. Now it seems unbelievable. Um, I've got another one here actually. So 36 grams for an inner tube, 65 mil valve. So obviously this one, we got to whack a valve extender on, but this one, 36 grams. You're like, whoa, you just can't go wrong, can you? They're three pounds, they weigh 36 grams. Job's good and comes with a free patch. Wow. Well, the reason no one rides these, in my opinion, or not many people, they puncture so, 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 so much. And... It's just ridiculous. I've never had anything like it. Now, Alex Richardson, which I'm gonna show the video probably, he like gets a knife and sticks into them, but I, I'm not gonna do exactly the same thing, but you can kind of see, basically, this thing here is very, this is punctured already. It's very easy to tear because it's so, it's, it's not very like flexible. It's real like solid. So if it hits something, it just goes boom. I also think that these Ride Now ones, the way, the valve works you can see obviously so the actual pressed valve itself is glued in which i don't think is great and also this thing here i've had a lot of them fail around where the valve is stuck on i just don't think they're very good quality products really and i don't think it's worth it because the rolling resistance is actually quite a lot i know they're really light but like it's just the fact that they puncture so much well if you have a latex um like the point was that alex richardson made it was like if you poke it it kind of just deforms, which I like, you can see here, like when you poke it, it just kind of moves around it, um, which obviously is kind of useless. Like it's not a great uh, experiment, but the point does stand true. Like latex energy generally don't puncture as much um, just because the way, the way they're designed and like just the properties of latex make it a bit easier to deform, less likely to puncture. So I really think like TPUs just have no place, unless you're doing hill climbs where they are lighter, I really think like they just don't add up because I know they're really cheap and I thought, wow, this is the future. I can get rid of butyl. But actually, um, I just think it's better to go for latex. I think they are a little bit more expensive. Maybe you can get them from eight pounds instead of like three pounds. But even so, like it just definitely is way better um, to buy latex in the tubes and then instead of butyl, sorry, instead of TPUs where you're just going to puncture. Now, the only caveat is maybe the tubalitos, which cost 20 quid are way better, but I just think these ride now in the tubes, maybe it's just me being unlucky, but I've changed tires, done a lot of stuff. I don't normally get many punctures. I just punch like no tomorrow. And sometimes you look through a tire, there's not even any glass there. And final point on these, they just lose air. And I don't get it. So I don't even sometimes puncture and they lose like so you're pumping them up to maybe like 100 PSI, which is ridiculous. You finish the ride, it'll be at like 60 PSI. Then you go to ride the next day, zero PSI. And it's okay for a ride, but you're like, literally, where's this air going? Like, I just fully bamboozled. Like latex, yeah, it's just got holes in it. It will go down like 20 PSI over a day, but it's kind of consistent. And like, okay, you probably need to pump up every day, but it's not a massive loss if you have 20 PSI less sometimes. You know, it's okay. It's manageable. You don't have any of these issues. Cheap um obviously heavy so yeah i just think these lot i'm not a massive fan but anyway if you do use these or have any thoughts about them then let me know uh down below um but anyway cheers for watching hope you enjoy this quick video and i'll see you in the next one